Hey y'all, this look was highly requested and this is the makeup that you do when you wanna feel like an absolute goddess and you wanna do the most, okay? Because you deserve, but stay tuned for all the details. Now, I've been getting more into skincare and I want to create a more even complexion and I've been using this dark spot corrector. I'll have it linked in the description box, but I'll have more of an update in a few weeks. But I'm a huge advocate for sunscreen. Please protect your skin even when you're in the house, okay? It's very important. Protect your skin, babies. And for the eyebrows, I'm using the Becca Primer. And this is going to mattify the surface, making it easier to draw my brows because, girl, I don't have any in the first place. And I typically, you know, like to use a pencil. But in more recent days, I've been using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Chocolate. Let me know what you guys think about this color. Now, you guys know my brows are like estranged sisters, possibly estranged cousins, twice removed. I don't even know. Now I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation and focusing this specifically at the front portion of the brow only. I want a color that best matches my complexion towards the front. And then I'm gonna be using this Pat McGrath Concealer. I love the texture and consistency. And I'm focusing this more towards the arch of my brow and creating the, the shape that I desire. And this gives that highlighted look without it being too much or too overboard. So I like blending these two colors together. And this also creates a blank canvas for the mobile lid as the base of our eyeshadow look. In the spirit of trying something new, I wanted to try the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. If you love neutrals, you love warm tones, get this. I love how the eyeshadows apply onto the lid. It's perfect. The pigmentation, the color payoff, the intensity, the vibrancy. Now, if you're a beginner, you can use one color on the mobile lid and you can also fan it out with a fluffy brush into the crease and that is your perfect neutral look. But I'm gonna show you guys how to build up your look, you know, so that it suits evening vibes. So I'm going in with this color that's a bit more of a reddish color, focusing it in the crease more towards the outer portion. And then to build up the intensity, I'm going in with an even deeper red and a bit of brown, but focusing this more in the area of the outer V. And you guys know I've been a huge fan of the Rare Beauty Primer. It's working well in the cooler months, but let's see how it holds up in the spring because I may have to try something new. But this is a great base for our foundation and I'm using the NARS Soft Matte Velvet Foundation, girl. I love this color for my skin. It's a little bit warm, but again it's like a medium to full coverage and you guys can see it covers any imperfections on the skin creating a nice even and flawless finish and i believe that they did a perfect job if you like that soft matte look and for the contour i'm going in with another pat mcgrath concealer and this is a bit warm again i love the texture of this and with the elf sponge this product it's just so easy to work around the skin. And I love the color payoff. It doesn't feel too thick and how it wears on the skin. Now to highlight, I'm gonna be using the Pat McGrath Concealer, focusing it directly on the front portion under my eye. And I'm gonna hit my forehead a little bit, as well as the very tip of my nose, Cupid's bow, the chin, and right under the area of my contour. Now I did mention that the contour is a little bit warm, but I'm gonna show you a trick to just get all of that together. And I'm adding a little bit more of the Wet n Wild Toffee Stick Foundation in the areas right next to the Pat McGrath Concealer. Blending this all out, I wanna use the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray it is perfect it preps the skin but it's also good when you are blending out your highlight products and concealers and I just love how well the setting spray allows me to blend my concealer into the foundation as well as the concealer for the contour. Take your time. I blend for a really long time and especially in the area closest to the jawline, I wanna take my time to ensure that 
even though my contour is a little bit warm i'm using the wet n wild foundation and the pat mcgrath concealer to create the best color match for my skin so i match with my neck as well because that's important okay don't don't be clockable And for this look, I wanna use the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder to set everything. I give powder donut vibes because I have oily skin and I like my makeup to last, especially since I'm still gonna be wearing my mask. If it's different for you, okay, you do your thing, but my makeup has to last. Now tell me, what are some of your holy grail makeup products? For me, this Maybelline pressed powder, it is perfect. I use the pressed powder to buff away the translucent setting powder and it better matches my complexion and just tones down the powder donut look. I'm using the Sephora bronzer in Mykonos with this brush from Rare Beauty. And I like to use this. I love how these two products work together, the brush and the bronzer, very soft finish and it's not an overpowering contoured look very soft Now, if you're about a sultry and dramatic look, this is really important. I'm using the Urban Decay 24 seven liner and this pencil is amazing. I love the color payoff. This is in perversion. It is the deepest black you can get your hands on. And when I tell you it is waterproof girl, it's not going anywhere. And so I'm gonna be using a white base at the corner of my eye, but I don't wanna to apply too much of this. I'm gonna be very, very modest. And I'm going in with a lighter gold. I usually use Fenty Beauty's Trophy Wipe, but I wanted something softer. So I'm gonna be blending these two colors from Wet n Wild. And I just like how it looks. And like I told you, we're using that Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray by Charlotte Tilbury. And then I'm going back in and doing my eyebrow trick where I take a little bit of the Pat McGrath concealer just to highlight the brows and create an even more flawless and just well diffused color because I take that fluffy brush and just fan out the eyeshadow so again I have that highlighted brow but it looks gorgeous it looks soft so we don't want it to look too harsh so make sure you blend it out take your time Now I get a lot of questions about my liner. I've been doing this for so many years. So I showed you guys the full process. I use the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. Now when I'm creating my wing, I like it to be a little bit thicker. I know that's not for everybody, but again, I have almond shaped eyes. So I definitely feel like, you know, my eye shape and my face shape, like it just goes well. And I gotta tell you, mascara is really important. So you wanna apply mascara to your top lashes, but also your bottom lashes. It makes all the difference. So don't skip the step. Do a few coats, if you will. For my lashes, I only use the Super Baddie Kawaii Lashes in Baddie Sensei. I can't use any other and I only use the Super Strong Hold Lash Glue by IMV. Like I'll have it linked in the description box, but you need to get it. It is the best lash glue. No longer do I talk to people and my lashes be like sitting on my face, you know, sitting down on my uh, cheeks. You know, we're at a new time now, we elevate it. And as for the blush, I'm just using NARS Orgasm. It's cute, it works and I'm taking this highlighter it's like a lighter kind of rosy gold pink gold and again like I said I love gold so I'm gonna take a little bit something a little bit softer I just apply it in those same areas and as for the lip that I'm wearing, this combination is everything. I mean, like if you don't have it, you need to get it. For a red lip, 
again you gotta do a gradient effect i feel like it works the best and it creates an even more vibrant and bold makeup look it's very rare that you'll see me wearing a red lip with just one color so you need a lip liner that's slightly darker that has that burgundy color payoff and you want to really outline your lips with that color and then you're going to focus that vibrant juicy red in the center of the lips this combo is elite Now I already have details on my hair so you can check the description box and I'll even put the video in the card section so you could jump right to it. It is bomb. I still have it on. It's been well over 10 days. I be keeping my wigs on like I don't I don't have time. I put too much work in so honey these wigs about the last but I love this look. I feel glamorous. I feel gorgeous but you know it's almost springtime. I want you to look good, feel good, whatever that means for you. So if any part of my routine resonates with you, do it up anytime. And, and you don't even need a reason. It's just because we celebrate ourselves, we slay. This is how I go in for me. I love looking glamorous. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I see you in the next one, girl.